Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Blacker Jacks, calm down. What? Oh, hold on. What's going on here? I got some breaking news. Beep, 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 As beep, of beep. like 10 minutes ago, seven minutes ago, a statement from Cliff Blazinski. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Well, that sounds fun. As of today, Boss Key Productions is no more. Uh, effectively no more four years ago i set out to make a world-class video game studio and i hired some of the best talent in the video game industry they worked tirelessly to produce quality products what? and while we had our ups and downs i'd like to think we had fun doing it lawbreakers was a great game that unfortunately failed to gain traction and in a last ditch attempt we scrambled to uh do our take on the huge battle royale genre with radical heights which was well received however it was a li too little too late as for myself i'm gonna take some time off and reflect yeah you think i need to focus on myself and my family, as well as my Aussie Teddy, who is slowly fading from us. Video games will forever be a part of who I am, and I hope to make something new and again someday. However, I need to withdraw and take this time. To those of you who have supported myself in the studio these last uh, these last four years, which is a typo, thank you from the bottom of my heart and everyone who came to work for me. Please note that the servers for Radical Heights will remain up for the near future. Wow! Wow! That was the that wow. okay. So we called that as dead when when we saw it. Well, uh, we didn't think that the we were terrified that it would be a hit. We, is that the fastest? <laughs> that's the fastest I've ever. This seen. This is the absolute yeah, fastest. This right? killed the studio in under a month. Um, that was weeks. That I, was actually weeks. The only thing I can think of that's comparable to this is when Smash and Grab came out, and no one knew that that studio, um, United Artists, mm -hmm. was like that in the shitter. But like maybe less than a week that came out and they, they closed. So this is a, like 10th of April. Uh, it has been one month and like four days. Okay. 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 Wow. That's the wow. fastest. Um, so so the, he's the fastest. What this signals to me, uh, Boss Key, uh, what publisher are they under? There are some, some publishers. Uh, some Chinese thing. What this says to me is that Lawbreakers is a massive failure and then... Their publisher goes, you make this much money for us by this date or the company ceases to exist. And they made Radical Heights and then it didn't. Mm -hmm. So now the company ceases to exist. Yeah, that, that could be that could be it. Um, or, or it's something similar. It's like there or, or is just, no more money coming. Yeah, it could have simply just have been like this is the amount that the number is at and that number is decreasing. We, we told you we would you, give you this much you and we gave pay, you that much. You can't pay your employees. What are you going to do? Yeah. You know? um, the, yeah. Uh, it's, That's better than back in the day when companies had no money but they wouldn't tell their employees yes. and would just not pay them. Kurt Schilling is the master of that yeah. shit. It yeah. sucks when uh, people with talent chase trends. And uh, do so badly. Twice. Um, that sucks. I really That's wish, just unfortunate I really all wish around. I he hadn't done those interviews where he just really disparaged everything else. And oh, just yeah. Said, I'm, like, I'd be a lot more like, oh, that like it sucks for everyone to lose their job. But I'm like, it. I mean, when you make a statement like that, like coming from him, I'm like, yeah, well, maybe you shouldn't have like <laughs> constantly shit on your competitors. Here, here, yeah, well. it, Matt's completely right. It's just a right. bad look. It, it's, it's the thing of like, Cliffy helped make Gears of War. Gears of War, it was a monster when he was working Absolutely. on it. It was the hottest shit. And he deserves, him and everybody who worked with him deserves like huge kudos for that. But the first thing he said coming out of, you know, he took a break. I don't want to call it retirement, but he, he didn't work on games for a couple of years. The very first like big quote that came out of that interview is, yeah, I came back because I want to make another billion dollar, dollar IP. Franchise. Uh, mm -hmm. And Avengers it's like, IP, and it's like that is the most arrogant thing possible, right? It'd be less like, arrogant if you said I wanted to make a, but no, you said I wanted to make another because yeah. I do those all the it's time. It's like you're not James comes Cameron, naturally man. To me. You're not like he's talking like he's James Cameron in the movie industry, and he's not. And then. As soon as Lawbreakers started to get shown, what started to happen was what Matt was saying, is that he would disparage games that were not only direct competition, but that looked overtly better than his own game. And that looks like shit. Well, wasn't it? Wasn't the statement something like, there's a space for these top two and we okay, want to be that so third? We, we, the, we referenced this the line of The yeah. first statement was, we're not worried about Overwatch because Overwatch is for the anime crowd. 
And that one just made everyone just kind of balk their eyes and go, fucking what? Okay. See, that's a 90s mentality that worked in the 90s. If you said, hey, kids, you know that thing you like? Yeah, it sucks. It does? Yeah. You want to play Arth? Oh, shit. Nowadays, it's like, hey, uh, Overwatch fan. Yeah, Overwatch sucks. You suck. Fuck you. <laughs> Overwatch is the shit. It was the fucking I'm drawing, shit. I'm drawing porn of it right now. Now, yeah. Um, or, or, and so, and then later mm, on, he mm. describes like, yeah, we're aware that there is room in any big genre space for like two, two games. Three. And he uses League of Legends and Dota mm -hmm. as an example. And he's completely right. That is the most accurate thing he's ever said. And then he describes Overwatch, Call of Duty, Battlefield, and Counter-Strike. And says, hope we can, you know, become maybe the, the you know, small, maybe a active third, or... third in that group. No. Motherfucker. Are you, are you high? Are you crazy? Are you nuts? Uh, what do you think? You seem yeah. to be t pontificating that. No, way. I'm just like, I hope that the the people at that studio that went down with them can land their on their feet at uh, Fortnite <laughs> or fucking whatever, you know, or, or wherever else. No, um, um, it's just like this. It's like when the creator when you... of Street Fighter left to make Fatal Fury and then Street Fighter 2 hits, him leaving Epic and then they make Fortnite, which is... I don't even know if it's surpassed PUBG. Oh, but, it has. Like that's what it's like. It's like holy shit. In fact, it was this um, bad timing. Jim did a Jim uh, Sterling did a really really fantastic video recently about how PUBG is the most successful failure of all time in regards to Fortnite because the the long and short of it, you should go watch it. It's it's fantastic. But it's mm -hmm. like because because PUBG is made out of a lot of Unity assets, and even though it it like nailed that gameplay style that made it super popular. There's absolutely nothing in that game that is unique to PUBG in any way, mm -hmm. from art to co control to gameplay to anything. And Even the build, its logo and, and the, is pretty derivative. Yeah. And, and the building part of, of Fortnite. Fortnite. Whereas Fortnite is, hey, if you look at PUBG, you could get it confused with 10 other games. Absolutely. If you look at Fortnite, you're like, oh, yeah, it's Fortnite. Yeah. Because it's colorful and it's bright. It's Blizzard-ish. Yeah. Uh, it has it has all these 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 specific things like you drop from a bus and, and stuff like that, and that's probably a big reason of why Fortnite is growing and growing. I thought it was just because it was on consoles, and it's also free. Yes, that's, yeah, that's to me true. that was but, the, that was like, the end all be. But all. it's like that's how do I put this? That's why it's how do I, when you think of battle royale, it's easier to think of Fortnite. Like it's just easier because there's stuff there. Fucking Thanos is in fucking Fortnite, yeah. dude. <laughs> he is. He is. Also, holy shit, Marvel. We can't show fucking uh, people getting beaten up in the Marvel Infinite trailers because it looks bad for Marvel and we need to keep that serious. And then I look at, there's a fucking Fortnite ad playing on Twitch with fucking Thanos dabbing. Doing the doing the loser dance. That doesn't make Thanos look bad. Oh. And then you got, you got Josh Brolin reacting to it in a, in a Deadpool yeah. like there's a, promo. There's, there's a real, oh man, if Marvel was more, if Marvel Infinite was more popular, they would have been able to do all sorts. Really fucking Fortnite, Marvel, dude. Yeah. Like, do what you, do what you want. Infinity, I love of this this sentiment infinity wars are really hot it's the yeah, most successful it's really if only there was a fighting game yeah out when it came out to if only there was a, a fighting game where the, these characters could uh, i wish there was one with thanos and involved yeah. the the gems yeah, people seem to like that cool, i guess what, what a fuck up yeah. what a monumental fuck up in terms of these really hey you know what uh just really quickly you know what um bosky and and um oh Murphy. i was about to say oh what? look we've moved on without even re realizing really, really quickly, it like. not unlike radical heights yeah. ah. <laughs> um it reminds me of it's like man i'm sick of working at on these big games and it's not what i want to do anymore and i'm feeling stifled mm -hmm. i don't work for the man I know. i'm gonna make my own I company oh, called I, oh. Ion Storm. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay, okay, hold on, though. I'm going to make Daikatana. It's going to be another billion I, no, no, dollar no, 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 no. I thought you Before were gonna... you make Daikatana, you have to invest in the ground steel logo that goes in your lobby. I How thought, much money are we going to spend on that thing? I thought you were going to say, I'm going to make my own indie game, and it's going to be called Calling All Cars. There's that, too, but th that's way... That's, that's a... 
bigger fail. That's a smaller failure. Yeah. Than than Dai Katana. If well, nothing will ever, ever top that. This is pretty close. It's pretty well. It, this it's the it's the speed, which is it's just, the speed, right? At least Ion Storm stayed around for a couple of years and put out fucking Deus Ex. Not the Dai Katana. Not the that team made it. It was. Warren Spector's uh, other Texas team, but, but whatever. There, this was so. But fast. there will there will always be one. There will always be a Romero that's not Romero. There will always yeah. be a you know I a am, spiritual successor. I am fascinated to see Cliffy's career trajectory after this because prior to this, he was able to get a bunch of money for a team and all sorts of shit because he said I was the creative head behind Gears of War and that made Epic yeah. a, a bajillion dollars. Yeah. And so some investors just gave him a bunch of money. Now he doesn't get to do that. But now he could kickstart. No. No one's going to kickstart. Who the fuck is stupid enough to give the man who was responsible for this bullshit money? I That's would... the dumb question that I asked just now. <laughs> that, that's fair. That was a dumb question that I asked just now. But seriously, though. Uh, I think it depends on what they should, what he would show. I, it depends I, entirely on what he shows off. I don't think you should give Cliffy B your money if he tries to get your money because I, he makes a bad game sometimes. I, I, think, that's cor- I think you're correct. And I think a lot of people, <laughs> also, including Cliffy. myself, will agree. However... <laughs> I'm pretty th- sure Cliffy B is also generally pretty rich. Yeah. And that's always a hard sell when someone goes, hey, uh, uh, fucking TLC, why do you need to kickstart an album? Yeah, he, he mm-hmm. is. He like, is, uh, And even if they don't have the money for it, it's people's perception. No, you have the money for it. You must. He, um, he did quite well off of uh, Gears of War. I think he got royalties off of it. So. I, 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 feel, I feel like they're could always be an attempt depending on like what gets slapped together for the video, what the goal is and so on and so forth. There's always a way to massage it. I guess so. to get hey, just I'm, the right I'm amount coming with a revival from the right people uh, of a revival shooter. Just like the old days in the aughts called cogs of conflict. I was going to say cogs of battle, but that mm, cogs of conflict, cogs of conflict <laughs> is pretty good. So yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure if you can call it cogs cause cogs is already a name in gears. So ratchets of, of, yeah. of, mm. Revenge. Engines of battle. Bring back Jazz Jack Rabbit is what he should fucking do. That's what you're trying to say at the end of the day. Bring back One Must Fall, 2097. These are all epic IPs, I just realized. Or the fucking one where it's... I don't know if you worked on One Must Fall. Remember when Did you you catch that there was the other one that was like just Robot Wars where you like programmed AI? Do you remember that one? (sighs) Vaguely. It was a weird shitty PC One Must Fall that was like... uh, 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 there's a weird one must fall like sequel. It was not good. And you just programmed. You didn't control your thing at all. You had to that's, program that's its fun. AI routes. It was garbage. You anyway. Remember, you remember when <laughs> it's garbage. Epic was like, we're getting out of games and focusing on engines. Yeah. Except for this one game that we've been working on that we're going to ship and then that'll be done. Mm. And that and was Fortnite. Was like, Whatever. And then also there was a long period in which people didn't believe Fortnite still existed because yeah, it got I, announced. I was among those. Dumped for years. Mm-hmm. Things change, huh? Hmm. 